Welcome to episode two of Knocked Up After the Shot. I'm Justin, this is David. We are at LJ Blessings Ranch, finally. And we are doing this after the shot like I promised you. Well, I want to apologize. I want to apologize. I said we would do one every night. I've been drinking. Uh, Justin knew that we were going to be really busy. Um, and we were. We were tracking deer. We were, we were doing a lot of things. So we didn't get one every night, but... This is a good one. Well, we got the best night because David just shot a monster deer. So uh, check out the YouTube channel and you'll see him and all the pictures and it's amazing. It's I'm pretty happy. It's gorgeous. So pretty happy. What we're doing now is celebrating with E. H. Taylor. That is the you bourbon of we choice. Kind of, we kind of started. Yeah, we kind of started already, <laughs> but that is the bourbon of choice for this evening. So yeah. let's kick it off. Give me a glass. What are we going to taste? Ah, oh, damn it. Let's talk about it. That's um, kind of the whole point. I know. Let's get it going. Let's see what we got. Yep. We're Still can't taste, smell. We're going to taste goodness, that's for sure. Oh, by the way, this is Moody Grande. Yeah, we'll get there. 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 Yeah. They go, they go well together. They look nice together. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are we smelling? Cause, or what are you smelling? Because I'm smelling. You smell less. You know, I get a little cinnamon. I still get the traditional caramel and vanilla. But there's also kind of a, kind of a fruity smell to it. Just a titch of fruit. <laughs> now, I've got a couple of bottles of this. I get a small fruity in the taste. Yeah. we got a couple of bottles of this. And I'll tell you, while there, this is the small batch, E.H. Taylor small batch, okay? So... It's not a single barrel, but obviously, depending on when the small batches come out, they're going to be different, right? It's all a titch different. Um, the last barrel or the last bottle I had was not quite as hot as this one. This is not too hot to drink, but you know, you can you can taste the hundred proof on it. So bottled and bond, fifty percent alcohol. It's pretty damn good. Now, you know me, I like a little bit of ice in my whiskey because I think it kills the hotness a little bit. But, no ice in my whiskey. I promised David that I would do this podcast without ice, so that way I can my taste boy. it the way he tastes it. Uh, shout out to the new cups. Mine says O-Doors because the U and the T got jacked up, but David's looks good. Um, but it tastes good. I think it tastes real good. It's my favorite. I've had it before, and uh, if I was going to pick... I mean, I picked this one all day long. So he did. He made me bring it. So, yeah, there's there's a titch of fruit. And see, the second drink's way better. That was my second drink. It wasn't quite as hot. Yeah. I um, you get the traditional Shaves. kind of vanilla caramel, a little stir stick. Not 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 too bad. <laughs> um, but I feel like just a titch of cherry. That's what I get. That's my fruit. You get a titch of cherry. I'll be there with you. Yeah. I'll be there with the cherry. Um, how much? Um, if you can find it. Again, it's going to be most for, of the bourbons that we review, yeah. if you can find it. MSRP, um, you're looking at 34 and some change, you know, plus tax. It's it's really a great great value for what you're getting. Um, Let me show you, just, just if you guys don't. I know. Taylor. Taylor. If you, can find it, top. if you can find it, buy it. And if you're in Georgia, like we said in the last podcast, go buy it and then send us some. Yeah. Um, give it a rating. So, oh, I'll tell what you. What were you going to say? Go ahead. Well, no, let me answer your question. As far as bourbons go to date, if I could only drink one, it's this one. This is my hands down favorite tasting. I bourbon. couldn't, I could, I, I can't disagree with them. It's okay. pretty good. It's. It's got flavor, it's got all the fruitiness, the spice, it's it's hot, but I'm a baby and I'm okay with admitting that. Yeah. But a, a cube of ice for myself, that bottle's gone. Yeah. yeah. And it's unfortunate, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's uh it's a great bottle. It really is, especially for the price. Um 
not only, I was going to expand on how great of a day I'm having, not only did I shoot the buck of my life, my wall hanger, I've got a lot of European mounts, I've got some nice deer on the wall, but I don't have anything shoulder mounted. And, uh, you know, if you watch the, uh, the hunting video that Justin's put together, you'll see why this is a shoulder mounting deer, because he is gorgeous. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. It's probably going to be a two part. Two parts. You also see another nice deer that uh, a gentleman named Mike Payless shot. Um, we yeah, had nicknamed him. him Deadpool. And you know what? I think we should run a contest, maybe. I'll talk to Justin, but if you can tell us why we nicknamed this deer Deadpool, we may have some merchandise for you. Yeah, you may get a shirt or something. Yeah. Um, anyways, so I got a call today also about a oh, raffle that I went into and this was probably in, I'm thinking it was in June in June I just happened I was on the hunt for things like this not, the, not hunt. the hunt but no, the hunt the other hunt yeah and uh, I went to take my daughter to her grandfather's and on the way back I stopped off at a ton of little liquor stores in all these little towns thinking I'm gonna get lucky because nobody lives there we can, uh, we can talk about it a little bit more when we start uh, reviewing some of the bourbons that I've won from this gentleman. But I got a call and pulled my name. So we're going to get a, several great bottles. Um, the proceeds from this raffle, it's a, it's a draw your name and you get the option to buy it. But the, um, it's for charity. Proceeds go to the church. They're able to buy uh, gifts, you know, for the kids and all that stuff so not only am i doing something good for others but i'm also doing something good for us that would be in give me another episode of after the shot and we'll go over what he got yep and what we're going to taste i don't know what the next episode is going to be but we're just flying by the seat of our pants here but for now we got the best of the best i still mm. need a rating oh did I, I told you i wouldn't drink anything else okay but does i mean you've so never I, had birthday bourbon either so, I mean, but are you going to leave it open for that to be a 10? No. I mean, we can always revisit and adjust. But, I mean, at this point, this is a, a 10. And, and I guess there can be multiple 10s, right? I mean, we saw multiple 10s and 12s and 28s <laughs> during our hunt. That's so, true. That's true. I think you can yeah, have probably good. more than one. But if if you're looking at this for value and taste. And oh, yeah. If you're strictly that, for and, sure. And just a great bourbon. I mean, this is a 10 all day. 10 all day. I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, E.H. Taylor. Go, 10! A fucking 10! Go get oh, by it. the way, I shot a 10. Yeah, he did shoot a 10 point. So let's talk about that for a minute. We're done with the bourbon. <sighs> Tell us the story before we get into all the fun stuff. Okay. Go ahead. So walk us through it. I was on the hunt, actually, for an 8. A really gorgeous 8. I'm all about symmetry, Okay. I like things to be clean, the traditional whitetail look. I want to. I want you to think of Bambi when you look at that shoulder mount on my wall. And I know that may be a little distasteful to some people, but that's that North yeah, American yeah. whitetail, right? Yeah. Eight, ten, twelve, whatever it is. I need it to be almost perfect, right? Um, it was after this eight, sat two sits. We weren't feeling good about it. Looked at another picture and saw this too. And I said, yes, that's the one. Let's go find him. I uh, was told he was seen at a particular location. We went there that morning. Or I'm sorry, that afternoon. He didn't come in. It was hot. Uh, not a lot of deer came in. And um, so I went back the next morning and he was one of the first ones there. Um, made a perfect double lung. Perfect. Blood trail. I mean, it was like somebody just walked with a can of paint, spilling it all the way to the deer. Okay, was, he's, he's underselling this. You could have saddled this deer and rode it in Yellowstone, and nobody would have thought it was not a stallion. It was so big. He's a nice deer. And um, the deer ran 53 and a half yards. Yeah, about right. And, it's a great uh, shot. It's a good shot. It was after the shot. After the shot is when I realized what I've done. After and the shot, he was like, this. 
little bit of that. You'll you see can, that in the YouTube video. Yeah, you can see some of that. Um, but man, it was it was a long time coming here at the LJ Blessings Ranch. I want to thank Jim. He has. Yes. I have hunted with Jim for uh, almost twenty years. Almost twenty years. I am a meat hunter by heart. I love venison, and he always needs help with. Hey, you know, I got some does. I got spikes, forks, all these things that need to get killed. And um, I needed that wall hanger. I needed that one shoulder mount in a white tail version to be able to look at and understand what I do and why I do it every time I go. They're gorgeous animals. God put them here for us to be able to harvest and enjoy with our families and our friends. And that's what it's all about. I mean, my children love eating it. My family loves eating it. Every year I give some out. Um, some years we shoot too many and we donate, you know, to the hum the homeless. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's an amazing opportunity that LJ does. They have a great ranch. They cater to your needs, to your wants. And um, Jim does a fantastic job. All of his staff. The cooks, the guides. I mean, it's... It's top notch. If you're going to, uh, to invest in a hunt, you need to check them out. Yeah. Uh, link will be link provided. will be in the description, 100%. Yeah. It'll also be in the description of the YouTube video. that will be on the hunt. Um, but you're going to see a, a personal connection if you watch this video that he and I have. Phelous and he has. He's the other guy who who shot uh, the buck this weekend. We we did a meat hunt while we were here. We're going home with 20 animals and a pig. 20 deer and a pig. Um, everybody's going home. They're stocking their freezer. They're happy. And, um, and we're going to put some freaking cooking videos out. We got a dozen, a dozen hearts. At we're least. Gonna do some stuff. I'm sorry I blew it's a couple be, out. But it's, yeah, it so is what it is. So did he. You'll see it's in fun. the video. Yeah, this this trip has been amazing. It's been always good as all, good as always. I mean, David got to shoot a, his buck of a lifetime, which is... It's a long time coming for my man. So um, I'm super happy for him. You're going to see a lot of uh, emotion from myself. Um, it was it was a rough hunt for me this year, but watch the video and you'll understand. But it came full circle. We had a great time. We filled the freezer. Um, we thank God for every moment, thing. and uh, we're good. One more thing. No, go ahead. You can talk because about it. It's called a podcast. We can just end it whenever we want. I also want you all to understand, I get a lot of razzing, and you're going to see that here. <laughs> um as you've learned from watching any of the videos, he's always saying, I'm here and I'm not here. And three for three. So I haven't, I, I take that back. I, I was doing really well in those pre, pre 10 years here. Um, in the, but in the last five years, I mean, you have tripled up. No, in the last five years, it's always, you know, two for three. One year was one for three. I was really upset. Um, I've had some rough years here. Um, had some rough years, I have. But, three for three. Double long, double long. Heart shot. I was on. I was ready. I listened to my boy. I thought through the process, and it makes it worth it because when you drag that deer out, it's uh, something it, special. It is. It's very special. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it makes it a little, maybe a little more special when it's got horns. Been waiting a long time for it, but um, you, you have to, you have to always recognize the fact that you just took a life. So it's always special, and you're gonna see that in the YouTube video. Um, it doesn't matter if it's small, if it's big, if it's a doe, if it's a buck, if it's a Pope and Young, which, by the way, he got. Yeah, sweet. Um, what would it score? 148 and. 148 and 4 eighths so, gross and 137 and 3 eighths net. So that for you. Pope and Young. Those people who yeah, don't know, please. the difference in those two scores, why the one is is less, that reduce that reduction is based on the lack of symmetry. So right. what Just we, David's deer was very symmetrical, course. which is what he wanted. It was great. But yeah, he got a Pope and Young, and he's going to do the paperwork, because I'm going to make sure he does the paperwork, because that's so cool that he can be in the book, okay? So he got a Pope and Young with a bow, and it's awesome. He's going to do the paperwork. 
I'll do, I don't even care. I'll do the paperwork for him. Um, but, yeah, we had a blast here. We thank everybody at LJ Blessings Ranch. We're going to be back next year. Hopefully we're going to be doing some cool stuff with them coming up soon. Um, working on a collaboration. Working on a collaboration. Um, but, yeah, it was a blast. Uh, we are going to pour some more bourbon, head over and chit-chat with Jim. Uh, you guys can see Jim in the YouTube video for a couple stuff. Awesome guy. He runs a show around here. If you guys come out here for a hunt, you will see him. You will meet him. It's top-notch, top-to-bottom. He's a good dude, fun to hang out with. Um, come check it out. Check the link. You want to shoot a big deer. You want to get some meat in the freezer. It doesn't matter. He likes it all. He just wants to hang out have a good time and enjoy what God put on this earth. So um, do that. We are going to go sit in a garage, maybe have some dinner here in a little bit, drink some bourbon, have a chit chat with him. You guys are going to check this out and uh, we'll see you guys back on the next episode of Knocked Up After the Shot, episode three. I don't know what we're drinking, but we're going to be here and we're going to have a good time. Y'all stay knocked up. You know what? I'll call it up. We'll be drinking Blanton's. We'll be drinking Blanton's! The controversial Blanton's. We will have it. Man, what a day. What a good day for me. No, it was good across the board. Well, everybody. of course, it's McNair day, but, you. you know. Yeah, for me. Yeah. I mean, I know it was a good day I'll for you. Shit about fuck others. everybody else, right? No, I said. Fucking <laughs> cut me off. Heard y'all might have had a good day, too, but nothing compared to what I did. That's true. My day was not as good as yours. May so I, be okay with that. I can't. I can't speak for you, but my day was pretty fucking good. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get the horn on the ground that you did, but I was pretty pretty happy with what I did today. Mm -hmm. I was pretty emotional about it. Well, that's see the I will have to tell you, say this <coughs> before David. What happened? I, was just, I, want, I wanted him <laughs> I to have a whiskey. I wanted him to have here, you know, and I love what he said. He said, "I don't care what it scores, you know. I'm just elated, you know." Yep. And that's that's how it's supposed to be because I've I've got. So many stories of people that I helped out, or they made a decision, and then they didn't want it scored, and then it's like, and then they're not yeah. happy, and it's like there's a totally difference. Where it's like, you know, I don't give a shit what it scored. I had a guy, oh, you can relate to this. So he comes down here, he's down a, a day early, then the group. He might have actually been down here and saw it in the court. So, um, uh huh. Ten well, minutes. Ten well, minutes. A little longer. Ten minutes. Oh, so ten you're minutes. doubling your wager for ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> anyway, doubling that, your wager. That eight points gonna look nice in the morning. So we're uh, we're out there in the high rack. Yeah. We still last ten minutes. Yep. We were supposed to be in three days ago. Anyway, right. so uh. He's talking about um, he's talking about uh, some big doubles down there. We're at number one in the high rack. And he said, well, the big doubles, you know. I'm like, yeah. And I don't pay attention to that. He said, those are big doubles down there. Yeah, you know. Anyway, I have this butt picked up. This butt comes in. I said, there's your butt. And he's like, he looks at me like, what the hell is it? Yeah, that's your butt. You know, make a good shot out. He shoots the freaking deer. He's so jacked up, he cries. So you can't tell anybody. Okay. Anyway, everybody shows up. Sees the deer and everything else, and he's just so jacked up and everything like that. So now we get to Sunday. He's like, I want you to score the deer. I said, No, you don't. He said, No, I want you to score the deer. And I, was like, oh. I said, No, you don't. No, I want you to score the deer. I scored the deer. It was 107. Now the joy has left him. I said, How can this be possible? You cried over a deer, and you heard a number, and now yeah. you're not happy. I had a guy I was doing some bartering with, John Johnson, and we're out there together, and he said, there's a 10-point coming in, you know. I looked at it, and, what do you 
think I saw that's a good damn boy. Are you happy with that beer? Because we're barking here. Oh yeah. You yeah. know? So, so you're you're good with you're good with that deer? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He shoots it. So when we score, he's all good. He wants to score. Anyway, score one twenty four. Well now, now I fucked him. That's not a good deer, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like you picked out a deer that you liked and you wanted, and everything's great. What, what did you say? Uh, you may have said it. What did you say these fellows' deer scored? Did you measure them? Well, Ish? I hope his is going to make the 150. I feel that his is going to make the 170. I got you. And so with a bow, 150 gets the jacket. With a gun, 170 gets the jacket. You get the jacket? Or he gets the oh, jacket? I'll, no, they get the jacket. I'm oh. pretty sure I'll find a way to get a jacket. I, <laughs> I, I only got about uh, 50. He only them. gets like seven a year. <clears throat> You get one for an old boy at eleven. No, I get. I have to. I have to perform to get a jacket. I know. I said you'd get one for old boy at eleven. Oh shit. <laughs> well, well, when I was jacket. when I was a young man, I didn't have the any property. Is different than the I won. I won biggest spike, that's heaviest doe, for, biggest six, like biggest seven. You know, I mean, that's all I could win because uh, those that's are the only things I had opportunities for. But when I die, there's going to be about 55, 85 people out there wearing a jacket that says Jim Fulcrum with some kind of a word on a jacket. I got, so, if I don't have, I, I'll be concerned. If I don't have 40 jackets, and back when I started, getting winning a jacket was, you know, that was what you were, two I'm things. You were cool. trying to get a, for me both, you were trying to get a 125 net. That was the end of the world, you know. And then you were trying to win, win a jacket. And I have jackets that, I, I mean, I got, I, I've never even put them on, you know. <laughs> but I love going to the contest, and our table just stacks up jackets, you know. I, mean, I love that, you know. When is the contest? Well, it, it's going on, but the awards are in June. Oh, and, gotcha. uh I guess that's what it meant. You know, I've won the Rancher of the Year, uh, ran, uh, won um, Guide of the Year. I actually won the uh, 50th anniversary. They called me for the 49th anniversary and said, we've selected you for Rancher of the Year. And uh, I said, that's cool. But they really want you to be there for that award. And I said, I'm, I'm not going to be in town. He said, oh. Well, we don't want to do that, you know. And I said, well, you can do it next year, you know. He said, you know how many people want to win the 50th anniversary of this contest? The oldest contest, deer contest in the world. And I said, that's all right, you know. Well, then I saw, shot stickers, and we had a lot of deer in there. And so for the 50th anniversary, I won Rancher of the Year. I won Guide of the Year. Of course, I'm a sponsor, but I love it. I love pissing the people off. Some people are cool with it, but I love it when our table just gets stacked with trophies, gets stacked with jackets, you know. You got two two types of people that are like, man, you killed it, congratulations. And then they got the other people under their breath, you asshole fucking son. <laughs> you know? so, so, do you know the guy well from La Campagna across the, the road? Oh, you're talking about Choctaw. Or Choctaw, sorry, La yeah. Campagna. Oh. No, oh, yeah, Tom's a good guy. Um, Anyway, there's a guy, and he's got all kinds of money, and, and, and he, he smoked us two years ago. Uh, he put his mind to it, you know, and uh, we've been averaging uh, somewhere between, our best year ever, I think, was 14 awards, and we pretty much average somewhere in the 10 or 11 awards every year. And uh, and I I want to just I really I told the I told the guys I said we're missing out on a lot of awards because we're not paying attention the biggest spike the biggest uh, time the biggest this, yeah, yeah. and you know, I'm like uh, Duval County is another thing you got to do I'm like and I do it every year I write it down and I don't pay attention you know but 
But you got to check it all. You got to drive it into town. You got to get yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but that, but but I love I love killing them. You know, I want to start breaking twenty a year. I mean, that's my goal. You know, it's like. L.J. Blessings Ranch. You know, I wanted to just get sick. You know, like. <laughs> and listen, we're gonna do the awards ceremony this year, and uh, it's dedicated to L.J. Blessings Ranch because they have every award. So please come have dinner and celebrate, Jim. I'd almost be okay. <laughs> I want to. I want to go to. I want to go to Jim Day. I do. Jim I want to go. There we go. Today's still McNair. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're still there. But no, I, I love it when, you know, <laughs> we just kill it. I mean, I, I want it to be, well, that's the biggest seven point, though. That, okay, that's it. I mean, I and I love it when the, we're up there and, and we have half the class covered with 200 inch deer, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, that's, you know, all that stuff just. You're competing against yourself, basically. No, 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 but I'm telling you what. Those people who are there, now there's, there, there are those who, um, for the first time in their life, they won an award, okay? But there's a whole bunch of us there. I mean, this is what we do every year. And it, it, there's, a, there's a respect factor. It's like, motherfucker, you know, some of bitches, you know? There they are again, over and over and over and over, you know? And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool and, you know, the hell, we're so far in now that the dork has to go up. You know, of course, she got her first this year, yep. you know, 200 inch deer. But I send her up there sometimes because you know, they'd uh, have a pretty face than me. But um, you know, we're, I mean, we're, we're, we're killing it. You know, I mean. I saw it recently on uh, I follow the movie Grande on Facebook, and somebody I don't know if this was recent or if they pulled something from the past. Just no, to it should be recent. It. Should be recent. Um, he was in the lead, or he won biggest horn doe. Uh, yeah, that's right, horn doe. And, uh, I mean, it was like an eight-point doe. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah, you're only going to have one of those a year. Yeah, know? yeah, no, I know. I was like, horn I, doe? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was holding the antlers with one, and he was spreading the legs with the other yeah. in the Facebook yeah, picture. Yeah, I've had never heard of that. Oh, yeah. no, no, you yeah. It won't be every year. I would say at least every other year. Now I could be talking out of my ass. No, 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 the eight point. Point. Well, yeah, but that, that I don't, part. But you know, whatever. it's a it's a buck with with no no nuts, and it's got makeup of female genetics. But that happens. If I had just put a statistic over the last twenty years, it's going to happen. You know, every other year. You know, so. But no, that stuff happens, <laughs> and. Uh, um, you know, certainly a rarity. Yeah. Well, so you have to consider how many deer go through there a year. You know, I mean, and and it, like I used to be in lots of contests. In fact, when I was like you take big drop. Well, if I was the old me, I'd have been entered in like fifty contests. Okay. You know, because I'm gonna I'm gonna win. Okay. You know, on basically all of them bastards. You know, but it's like. You know, I'm, I'm past it, you know. I mean, I used to always be in three particular ones because that's what I did. And then, you know, there would have been a time, you know, I, I would have been in everything for 100 miles around, you know. But it's like, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'm in Boy Grandy. I'm a sponsor. You know, how many jackets can you have? And, you know, but... It's good advertisement too, though, because mm-hmm. uh, you get people. It's like, man, those people keep on doing it, you know. So, and word of mouth is the best advertisement you can possibly have. So, we're getting so close to being filling it up. And I'm, ex- I'm excited about that, very much so. But it's cool, you know. So you run every week from the start of October to the end of February? No, right? October is strictly um, politics, guides, you know, all that. No, we do uh, three commercials in November. We do three commercials in December. Uh, and we do one, one commercial in January. Now, we have other things that go on. You sure. know, there's 
kids, there's politics, there's, you know, but we only do uh, eight commercial hunts a year. Yeah. If I was like other ranches, I would be running 7,500 a year through here, and we only have a 50% success ratio, you know. We got, so far, we got eight plus years, 100% opportunity on trophy bucks. And I love that. I just, that. Yeah, that's, a jacket, about, that's a jacket you want. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I think that is so, this one guy called me, and he said, well, we're trying to look for, you know, the best deal we can get. I said, well, I just I have to ask you. If you get a $2,500 hunt and you don't kill anything, is that a good deal? Or is it, if you spend $5,000 and you got a place that's been successful for eight years, you know, in a row? So which which one of those is actually, you know, the deal? You can, you can sleep in a tent also, or you can sleep in a queen or king bed. You know, you can have AC or not. You can, you know, let, let's get real with, what, what are you trying to compare me to? You know? Yeah. Because I'm, I think I'll put us up against anything. You know? Yeah, for sure. What a day! What a day! What a day! Mm-hmm. Kill him last day, man. So did you, Mr. Deadpool Same Killer? One. How many people can kill Deadpool? <laughs> you like so out, out there? You know, it's like <laughs> we had to stare down. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't name this deer Deadpool? No, I didn't. Oh, no, no, no. He's you out, he doesn't he even says, know what Jim, Deadpool is. Have you seen is. the movie Deadpool? And Jim goes, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no shit. Oh, hell no. I, I mean, you, you name a lot of your deer. I just assume that you was No, a name. lot of people name the deer. There's many deer. I, if a name works, I'll bet you I only name 50% of the deer. Well, does Deadpool work for you? Hell no. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it works great. Well, you want to call him. That's a badass deer. <laughs> but if you, you've never I'd seen Deadpool, toad. have you? No, but I mean, you're coming up with some freaky shit. You're like, oh, it's like crazy. And it's like, no, you got a damn, you got a fucking G2 that's got two kickers off of it. I don't know, you know, it's like, what the hell is wrong with you? you? Go that's all right. That's explain all right. it. So you fu- Deadpool fu- is like a superhero. You fucked hero. yourself out of a great deer. You know, it's okay. Oh, Once I, I saw him came from the side, I didn't know it was him, Jim, because that's him. I was like, Man, I'm not going to doubt Jim, but I don't know if that's that same deer. And yeah. then as soon as he turned, Deadpool. And I could tell Deadpool. how flat he was. Explain. Now, there are some things I can't control. This may be one of them, you know? Now, if he kicks his ass and says that's not his name, well, then there we are, okay? Now, I will support him because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's a great ass. No, it is an amazing deer. Oh, that's but Deadpool right. is a badass son of a bitch who kills a bunch of people with a bunch of swords and you can't kill him. I was just, cool. ex- just as excited about how but big his body was. As, as his no, rat. I already told him why I named him. He's a bruiser, man. <laughs> but he walked across that road. Just, yeah. man, he, 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 <laughs> what what was, was cool there. was we had a, we had a, I mean, there's so much misconception about, um, now we're successful, you know. There's no doubt about that. But we grind hard, okay? But this deer, we didn't have anything in there. And then I saw him, and then he came, and I mean, he was, if that wind had been wrong, that deer would have been out of there. He didn't live that long, you know, for that. And, uh, I mean, we're we're on edge, you know. We're, you know, it's like. His spidey sense was going off this morning, but something wasn't right. Yeah, I mean. And, uh, I swear to God. And then he pulls out of there, and then he fortunately makes a left. And, but then he was eight minutes before. Once he actually looked, scoped it all out, then he he just went in there, you know. But I'm telling you what. Get out of here. It's my corn now. Yeah, well, but it, it, it's not no dumb deer. That's how he got that yeah. big and everything else, you know. And so, um, I mean, that was those kind of things are just cool as shit, you know. I mean, it's just uh, it, I love every it. other doe there easily. Oh yeah. Cold. Oh yeah. They were all just like, hey, look at me. Hey, you're not paying attention to me. Yeah. No, no I want. I want that one. She's, she goes, she's just looking at you the whole time. Yeah, I'm looking at her freaking head the whole time, buried straight on. Yeah. She's look up. I mean, she was a bitch, you know. And it's like she look up. You can't handle this. Go back to eating. You can't handle this. 
I loved it when, because that's a challenge, you know. I love challenges, you know, so. But um, I think I lost my gear because I was going somewhere with, she wasn't there. with that other. But She may have been there when you were hunting, too. I think I said 11. You had made a comment sure. about one doe that was, like, ruling the roost. I think the first night. That's yeah, the first one. that's the one he shot. Yeah, we. You know, she, she had two fawns with her. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I had a big. I'm based on statistics. She's got one big uh, buck and one doe. You know, and uh, of course you can't you know prove that unless he's you know got it going on. But you, you can look at the size and I mean all this stuff. But you know she was and you know, it's like. I locked in on her ass and it's like, no, we're we're killing her. Yeah, her first run in, I mean, no matter if she was walking or if she finally stopped and was looking or eating, she was twitching the entire time. Like her whole body's like she's ready to get, you know, what's going on? She was amped. She was on a high string, baby. And she just she kept making that rotation. No, nope, I'm not I'm not happy. Go out. Come back we, in. She went out one time for more than 20 minutes, yeah. you know, and I said she'll be back. But I mean, she just, I told him it's like bear. A lot of times on bear, and it depends on what well, part of the country you're at, but a bear will come in and it starts eating, and then it, it, it's like, oh shit, I got comfortable. And it will leap and it will come around again and do the same thing. When my uncle had his bear camp, he said, don't even try to kill that bear. So it's coming in for the third time, you know. Really? But they they get they kind of get comfortable when they're eating. They're like, oh, shit, I let my guard down, you know. And they and they do and that's I told you, every time she got a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable. That last time when she actually pulled out of there, instead of running or you know all this, because she every time got like it's almost like a we started out with. 150 yards and then 100 yards and then 70 yards and then you know and, and yeah. she like got jiggy and she went just to, to the kill zone Boom. Yeah. did you take a picture tonight of that one buck that came in that was i don't think his leg was broken but something's not right oh no we do have one he's he's going uh down there he's got an ankle broke at seven He's been at nine, but did okay. you have him come in? He's a ten pointer. Well, he kind of. He's a ten pointer that came in, and it was weird because. No, it, this one you'll know. I mean, he's he's like, he, I think it's his left front. He oh, got no, a broken this is ankle. A rear. This, this is, is a, a left rear, rear. rear left, and like, it didn't look real bad. But no, just, it looked like he made like when he came to a stop, his like legs just kind of like laid out weird. He would limp walk. But then he got spooked. He came in first. Yeah, but he trotted away before and the everything feeder, was functioning yeah, fine. Yeah, before the feeder went off. And he came in, ate a couple nibbles, and then was just not about it. And every time he walked, he limped. And then when he trotted off to run, he well, looked like any other deer. Well, it's, it's so, part of that has to do with the adrenaline. They're like, you know, sure. like, like we are. Sometimes we get up, you know, in the morning and we're like, oh, that hurts, you know. And we, Sometimes we're like, yeah, you know, and other times we're like, yeah, it hurts. I gotta be, <laughs> I gotta be at work in yeah. five minutes I mean, or ten minutes. Or Mike was right there. Anytime he stopped, that leg was just flared kind of like out. out yeah, weird. like he had like almost like dog has like hip dysplasia. It just doesn't come in all the way. That's what it looked like. He oh. just stood there. Well, I mean, he, he looked healthy. Not like it was affecting him at all. But well, it was just the, kind of the one that JC saw, or I, I had him last week. Um, I'm hoping, cause, you know, it's, but he's got a broken ankle. And uh, in fact, I had I was in there for pigs and told Dorcas, yeah, we got a ten point with broken ankle. Said, You're gonna shoot him, right? I'm like, now if I have a bow, yeah. I, w I may have shot him, you know. But it's like, now are no. deer are deer like horses? Like they're not gonna fix that? Oh up? no, no. Now I will have to say, I will have to say, I had one. So in pin uh, six, yeah. and exactly. he was, uh, I think man. what he did was he dislocated. Hours or whatever the last couple There's a difference, and you know, we don't know this Smart. stuff. Because I, I told Dorothy, I said, oh, we got one. What are your taste you know, he's got a, he got a bad know. ankle, you know. I and he's, just to and so he, I think he dislocated, yeah, which is very know, unusual. Well, I don't normally drink it, but so. it's normally so I, I, Sorry, I misunderstood. Deer are like horses? So, 
Different. Like they're not going to fix it. Good though, like right. Like we break our ankle, it's going to fix itself. But if a horse does, that horse is gone. Normally speaking, deer are the same way. But I'm saying... What yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I got I, it. I, I just into, I missed it whether it was... No, I moved into the other word. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I have seen some rare exceptions, you know. But, yeah, basically speaking, when you break that ankle, you break that leg. Because you know? yeah. here's the other thing. It can't be overlooked. On paper, the deer's dead. Coats. You know, I mean, he doesn't have the ability to deal with it. Yeah. And what coyotes do is they get one and they push a deer. Yeah. And when the coyote gets tired... The next one jumps in? Yep. It, I, I've got video. Pack mentality. I got I got video, and people you can't understand this. They're like, the deer laid down, he's alive, and the coyotes are eating him. And they're like, why doesn't that deer run? The deer is run out. Yeah. So you can take a deer, and this is, these are things people don't really know. I mean, if you're not into this stuff, you don't even you don't sure. And I'm these are all numbers that I'm I'm using as illustration. Okay. So that deer will run 300 yards first go round. Then it'll run 200 yards next go round. Then it'll run 100 yards next go round, and then 50, and then 25. If a deer is pushed, a white tail. You, you can, you can, a, a human being, I've done it. I, I thought it was bullshit, but my uncle told me about it. And I'm like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> In the snow, you can push a deer and you can actually get up. No, I can't do it today, you know. <laughs> when I was a young man, I did it. I proved it. Um, but every time a white tail runs, it can run less the next time. Right? Now, obviously, there's a recovery time, you know, but, you know, it'll run and it'll stop. And then, every, you know, if you can keep pushing that deer, if you can keep pushing that deer, it will run less every freaking time. And so that's what those cows do. And that deer will be run out, and he'll lay down, and they are eating that mother fricker alive. Alive. And people are like, why isn't he running? He's run out. He does not have any more go in him. And it's like it's a sick, sick thing. It's it's terrible. Watch watch a deer be eaten alive. You know? Whose deer was it that got eaten on last night? Was that JC? That was, uh, JC's. JC's. Yeah. Yeah. Cat got the guys. Never seen that. It was a bobcat got that. Now, a Kyle gets it. Oh, it, it would have been. It, gone. Oh, shit. It would have. There would have been a whole, uh, so that was a bobcat. Just got, it, got him a few nibbles, you know. Um, coyote will, especially if you happen to have any friends, shit, they'll decimate it. I mean, just, but people just don't understand it. Like, why is that deer not running? It's like, how far can you run, you know? Well, yeah. You know, it's like, and you reach a point, and it's like, I'm done. I, you know, and yeah. like, well, oh, they're going to come over and kick you. And like, I'm, I'm done. You know, I can't run anymore. Kick me. I, mean, I, I don't want you to kick me, but, and that, I mean, wildlife is crazy. Just like recovering these deer. If we were, if they were human beings, they'd just roll over and die and say, here I am. You know, come shoot me and put me on my misery. Tough son of a gun, son. Yeah, they they won't stop. I mean, they you take a, a coon eating his own leg off, you know, to get out of that trap. What? What? A raccoon. A raccoon. Yeah, no, is there a story behind this? No, this is they do said. this all the time. No, a raccoon, you get him in a, a coon trap, yeah. he will eat his leg off. Oh, that's that's a, okay. No, I mean they'll do this. They're not like human beings. They'll eat their they'll eat their own freaking leg off to get out of that trap. Uh, mm -mm. I mean they got they can open trash cans, but they just open them. <laughs> I had one in uh, Ohio, and that sucker had eaten. He, he'd been caught in a trap on both legs, 
and he had he'd eaten both. I mean, he was a cantankerous old motherfucker. I mean, he and he should be. I had to eat my own both of my own legs off, you know. And he's going off on on a you know no stubbies. longer got legs. He just got stubs, you know. I mean, that's that's a hard life. And a lot of people are like you're making that up. You don't, like that shit up. you don't understand about life. You, yeah. know. you may not like it. You may not agree with it. But I think it's funny when people say that you're making that up. What do you stand to gain from lying about a story about a raccoon with two legs? Yeah. Zero I've seen things. it. I've, I watched it. You know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. People are like, "Hey, you made it up." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would I make that shit up? I don't. Well, the one thing about it for me is I get older, it's like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, for if, real. If you believe me or don't believe me, because I, I, I could care less. I know what I know, and yeah. if, you know, you, you can, what's crazy about stuff um, is the things that I see happen in life. A three-inch opening with a doe, if she can put her head through there, on the run, we'll go through that opening. She might hurt her her hips and her ankles, and I would tell you you were a liar. But I've I've seen it happen, you know. And it's like it's impossible. How does a deer, three inch opening, on a full run go through that hole? And I, some of these things I I would just say you're fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. But I I'm in this world. I see this stuff happen. You know, it's like you know it's it's crazy but it's fact yeah. you know the deer go i was just telling mike today because he hasn't seen it but i said oh they'll go right over that eight foot fence i i uh, i darted a fawn there was a buck right there the high fence they can jump it from a standstill from a standstill jump go over, over the high fence that eight foot fence. Out of there. and i mean i i always tell people about it until they see it it never changes never seen it. so you tell people about it. And the first time it happens, the guy goes, that motherfucker went over that fucking fence. <laughs> you know, it's like, I couldn't believe it. It was like, yeah, I told you. I, but, I, you know, it's like, you heard the story, but until that deer goes over that fence in front of your eyes, it's like, it's just conversation. But when you so, see it, you never forget. You know, so it's maybe, like. Maybe a stupid question, like, jump over it whenever they want. Pressured. 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 Adrenaline. and yeah. Pressured and freaked out. Gotcha. Okay. They have no desire. It's not on a random Tuesday. They just ain't jumping No, 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 no. You know, there's, uh, it's like we're only going to do certain things. Well, that's uh, why you don't run everywhere, right? Because it takes too much energy. It's the same kind but of thing. But you're only going to, like, you can do, let's take someone, you see it all the time, stories about someone that can't even swim. But they went out and saved somebody, especially their own child. You know, they don't even know how to swim, and mm-hmm. it's just like. And those are just God gifts, in my opinion. But, um, like I've seen deer that are darted and they're like loping and they're like trying to gauge that fence, you know. And they get up there, and, but they're they're drugged, okay. And they're like, I didn't quite make it. <laughs> and they come down, okay. Cloud nine. <laughs> But, but those ones, I'm telling you, I was in pin three, and I, you know, I'm darting deer, you know, and there was a that buck was standing right there, and because uh, that's the most straight up and down I ever saw in my life, and I hit that fawn in the ass with that dart, that buck was standing there, and he was in pin three, and he was in pin two, you know, and I mean, and I, of course I've seen many of them happen, but that one there, he was. He was just standing right there, and he got freaked when I when that went off for me to dart in that fawn, and it was like, boop, I'm over here, and, and <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> and these, you know, I have many people come down and help us with the darting, and and they're always like, motherfucker, mother, some bitch went right over there, you know? And they're like, yep, but until you see it, you know, that's the thing about life. So many things in life you're going. Yeah, but man, you know, when you see it, or you live through something, you know, like some of the accidents I've been in life, you know, I should have been dead, you know, so you, 
you actually live through it, you know, and uh, so all you know, all those things are just part of part of life. But you took me home from one of those. The those deer, those deer pressured. Not a problem in the world. I, Man, I wish I could jump eight feet. I was well, pressured. Shit, I, there's a few things I wish I could do. I don't know if I want to jump eight feet, but I got some things in mind. Just some of the crazy shit <laughs> happened in my life. And there we were. There and we there. were. <laughs> on, on McNair Day, you know. McNair Day. About to be McNair night night day. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here about, we it's go. It's about to be Saint Saint your, time. your deer. <laughs> Spraying everywhere. <sighs> my adrenaline has left my body from today. Well, it's, I mean, that's part of what's supposed you, to happen. You jumped over your fence already? Oh, I jumped my <laughs> chart. See, sure. like, so you went from both spectrums today. So, I mean, you, you made this awesome shot, and it was, it was right there. And then, you know, the doe, that was, yeah, that was 40 yards before she cut in there. Yeah. We had a couple drops, went in there, and we didn't do any good for a little bit, and then we are on But, I mean... You know, it's like, so you went from the extreme of there it is, cakewalk, to there it is, still bringing you back to bow hunting, yeah. you know. To almost falling asleep at the lunch table to. <laughs> and I went the other way around. Yeah. I started out that way. You were just picking yeah. up. I'm going to get some ice and maybe you'll give me a shot yeah. of liquor. Yeah. I don't, you know, I mean. I don't rec recommend ice, but that's okay. It'll be okay. He's going to give you shit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How come he can get ice and I can't get ice? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm Jim Polk. You know. Well, there's that too, you know. You know, we're going to sit down and get some clean ice. It'll be fine. Give me some shit, dear. You got dear. seven up in there. It's going to mess it up. Mmm, <laughs> great. There we go. Tell him what he's going to taste. It's going to taste really good, bro. Good. No, tell him what he's going to taste. Yeah, everybody's taste buds are different. Let's see what he tells us he's going to taste. I'm trying to get Fetus to tell Yeah, Fetus, what do you taste? Seems like a little bit of cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah, I get a cinnamon note on the nose. Yeah. A little bit more spicy. On the nose. Yeah. Now, that's the first thing that strikes me a little. See, that's one thing I have to say. Like, my liquor drinking is pretty straightforward. Like, a lot of people will tell you the Woodford is, like, it's too harsh, you know, it's too dark, it's you know. I, like, I cannot do, um, what's the one everyone likes that's uh, sweet? Uh, what's the Baker's a, Mark. Yeah. God yeah, dang it. I mean, it's like, you can have one of those, yeah. you know, and it's like, I, I can't do that shit. I mean, I want a drink. I don't want to have a syrup. Yeah, it's too sweet for me. Sure. Woodford and Bullet. Those are the two I always go to. If you pick anything up, Woodford and Bullet. The cinnamon? Well, I'm, I'm checking it. I'm checking it. <laughs> Almost seems like subtle apple-ish thing. Kind of fruity, yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's kind of fruity. Yeah. A clovey smell, too. Something like, uh, like another spicy note other than cinnamon. Yeah, it might actually not even... This fruit is, I think, is appropriate because it's almost like it's not peach, but it's like Pear. and it's not it, some something in that array. In that, am, in that in that family of fruits. Fruit. One thing about it, you Cocktail. know, you know, I'm a a whiskey drinker. You know, I mean, this is my favorite so far. That's how long the bow sat on my leg waiting to kill that fucking deer. It bruised me. I'm just sitting there for fucking an hour and a half. He, You're just a bitch. He actually had that, he had that bow longer than he wanted to have because, you know. Us. At least he was ready. We worked at it. I mean, we had an intention. And he's like, we can kill something else. We can kill something else. I said, no. size bruise. We're, we're killing that, you know. 
Oh, by the way, you got an office chair in the that bow blind that we were in. I just sat there. I did and did a backflip out of the blind. It, it's either full straight up or you're just like, right, like well, low rider stuff. I need that information because uh, we got in. The, yeah. This is a blind that finally got yeah. put out. Yeah. And it's like, oh, they only had one chair. And yeah. some of these I bought, like there's one right there that was bought for that blind. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, I, I tried to lean, lean back just a little bit like this. I mean, the chair was fine. And it, yeah. went, it went farther back than this. You're either laying hear. down or. No, no, <laughs> well. The back door. That's part of the. That, that, <laughs> there's right one there. in here that sucker goes back and take a nap in. But I mean, oh, that's, part about, that that's part yeah. about. So there's two things. So you got to keep changing them up. And like bow blinds, you got to figure out. You can take a bow blind chair and move it to a gun blind, you okay. know. And you just—it's just a cycle, you know. Because um, if I would actually be diligent and go in there and spray them with a blaster every year, which I've never done in my life, but if you'll just give them some love, you can probably get away with more. But it's like, what? It was so funny that uh, mainframe nine that came in. Moving his chair around, squeaking and stuff. Didn't even pick his head up. Little button bucks and little fondos and stuff. What's going on? Yeah. I'm telling you what you can. Well, I I do this all the time. You know, you can you can make a little scratch on the glass and they they freak out. You're ready to get out of the blind and you you start beating on the blind. You you start beating a, a rah, rah, you know they don't even raise their fucking head. You know it's like. Crazy shit. I, I tell you, he's a fan of our magnets. The magnets? Oh, dude. Oh, I've done the first thing I've ever done. I'll ship them to your office tonight. tonight. First thing I've ever done tonight in a blind at Jim Polcroft's because I was scared to pants? death. I did because of this. He opened the window. Yeah. For a cross crease. It was amazing. He opened the window. But you gotta know what's going on. And he took the little black thing and he took two of my magnets and he pinned it to it, where it, they couldn't when see. When we first started, like that the, much the, the, the felt coming through. The felt was <laughs> was was moving. I was like, "Well, we can't have that, you know." But no, that that right there. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a that's easily a thousand dollar to the plus column because this is something that's on the list not only are we going to be able to use it for the bows you know how we use the clips oh yeah and i want to do that too we were able to stretch the fabric mm -hmm. and and because uh, it has enough weight to it and everything else but i mean i love things that work i love things that work so the problem is yeah, people are going to steal them. I don't know how we were. How oh, we yeah, that's to, that's what's going to happen. I mean, you know, they steal sheets sometimes, but no, they will be because they're never going to. They will have not seen that. I was like, we need. I was like, man, I just. Was it advertised as that or did you just find it? No. It, go no, it, just it, was, some, it was some cooks. BS conversation we were having about gyms, you know, yeah. getting ready to get down here like the week before. And I think we were like, yeah, we could. We were shooting. Oh, yeah, because we bought those stands for our yeah. bows for the ride. No, those deal. are, I mean, see, and, that's, uh, a, that's the key to almost anything. Who you know or what you discover, you know. Yeah, I mean, we got those stands for the ride hard yeah, so we, we could shoot and sit on the ground and go get our arrows and whatever. And I was like, man, I don't think I want to take my stand to the blind. And just, you know, I'll set it on the deal. And we were like, man, I wish we had some hooks. And. I was like, well, all Jim's blinds are metal. Why don't we just get some magnet hooks? And then I looked, and they were like 10 bucks for three of those things. And I was like, sold. Oh, yeah, I, I pull on the thing. I mean, it's got yes. a lot of weight. Waited for and it's better, pounds. Yeah, and it's better, pounds. too, like, on the, because you have, the, like, the, I don't know what a sheet metal, I'll just call it that. It sticks to that pretty good, but um, on the, when I sat it on one. The main, on the mainframe. Yeah, when I sat it one at the old blind, you had, it was, uh, like plywood and it was the main frame like one inch stuff I could have hung from that bad yeah. boy on the main steel yeah, <laughs> yeah. well I'm I mean it's a uh, because it's another thing that's been on the list now what I like here's the part that's really important 
Okay. Everyone wants their bow hanging a certain way. You're always going to get is like that. Your bow holder is too far forward. It's too far back. It's too far left. It's too far right. This They're customizable. Well, there's going to be <laughs> certain frames that we have that there's only metal here. You're going to have to either pick, you know, you know, you got a little bit of a ray. But on the most of the blinds, it's like, okay. I hung my bow on and that. You're and you're not having I to drill a hole in the blind. Yes. Nuts and bolts and washers. There's no water leak. Well, we've been through this conversation about what we're going to have to do. I mean, it's been on the list, you know, just like, you know, it's you got to prioritize the list, you know? Where, where on the list is my hot water at the washing station for winter? It's, it's, it's way down there. <laughs> That's Did it didn't even make the we, list, or you just we, being we, nice on McNair I mean, we Day? we talked about this, like, <laughs> That's feel like I a decade ago. Oh, right. Right. That's called customer service. Yeah. That's what we're all about, baby. That's, That's what we're all about, you know? <laughs> That's what my guys do, though. You know when it's cold on, it? on their water bottles. Oh yeah. No, that's that's what they do. You know, it may it may be three or four hours later, but I'm gonna tell you what, that's it's a whole lot. Cold, oh right? God, yes. It's I mean, warmer than 34 degree water. Yeah, exactly. Out of there. You know. You ready? I said, uh, Phelous, uh You know, Jim got the video you did here. I said, did you do any kind of video like we did to track it? <laughs> when I when I tracked mine, he goes, Oh yeah, we did. I go, okay. He goes. It's the same video. He just went like that. <laughs> I was like, I'm so no, proud no, of we, you. No, we, we, we said we, we gave him credit and moved a quarter of an inch. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor's was so funny the day because I used my phone to film the shot and then he was filming me. Yeah. And so it's it's great up until then. Started it perfect because I was like, I was not paying attention to him. I told him, I was like, when I get ready to go, I'm going to get real quiet and I just focus in. So when I start doing that, stop talking to you, I'm about ready to go. And so he kind of keyed in on it and started the video, and he shot it, and right when he hit it, you know, all that blood flies out, <laughs> and you see the video. I don't, I don't know if I saved it to my phone or not, but you see the video. It's it's awesome. You see me draw back and shoot it, and then the video goes to the ground, and you hear Phelous, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't see me. It's... And then and straight to the ground, like, oh, shit. Like, he was, he was over the video at that point. And I point. wanted to see where she stopped. You, like, you <laughs> fell out of the out of the blind, huh? It was funny. <laughs> yeah. That's when you look at him, you know he's in the frame, and then you do this. Okay, I want to see the deer. Oh, that's die. exactly yeah. what he did, and then you look. <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, one of my favorite things, and I try to tell my guides all the time, you know, the the most important video you can do yeah. is after a person makes a shot on his trophy butt. I had a guy last week, he said, I, mean, I think he cried when I left the blind because he wanted me to go get his dad to recover it. And his words were, uh, you know, of course, he was just so amped up. But he says, he says I, I got to get back to my arrogant self, you know, because I'm, he, he just overwhelmed. I mean, it, it just, and he's like, I'm doing this every year. You know, I'm doing this next year. I'm doing this every year. He said, you know, this this is a rush you can't, you know, indescribable, you know. Yep. Right, Mr. McNair? No, today was the awesomest rush of our shooting career. Congratulations, um, you got the day you wanted. I was so happy we got, yep. you know, what we did. But just, just I said, fuck, I'm going to show you guys what a real deer is. I said, okay. Once you have one that looks just like Big Brother in there, yeah. I have them. Don't start that shit with me. <laughs> <laughs> Guess where you're going in the morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Start your shit, okay? I'm not starting shit. You go I just love that three? deer. Huh? I love you want to go hunt at blind three? I love that deer more than any deer I've ever seen in my life. I told them, I said, I said, I guarantee you, we'd have gone over to three, and he'd have had to shoot a 220-inch deer, and he would have done it, and it was like, that's not right. That's What that's, did I tell you last night? I said, Jim's going to, we're going to three, and I said, there's going to be massive shit over there. Well. When you start having payment plans like rooms to go, we got a deal. <laughs> My whole thing, though, this is about. Takes credit card. 
this is about doing you know, the right thing because so I want y'all to come and have fun. Yeah. It's never supposed to be about pressure. It's never supposed to be about you getting out of your comfort zone. That's that's not what it's supposed to be. He would have shot one of those deer. No doubt in my mind he would have. I mean, it's like, that's not what he came to do, you know. It's like, and that's not, you know. I got exactly what I wanted. I got a typical, symmetrical deer. I'm just Clean. glad that, that you got the 10. I mean, eight's a beautiful deer. That's a freaking... That's a secondary deer, you understand? I mean, you know, not, but you have to That's go up. I mean, I see, deer. I see your next one like in the one nineties. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Then you can drop back to an eight. You know? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. You know? I give a shit. You can come kill you some more meat, deer, right? I do, I do like the meat. I'm just gonna show you off what I what I killed and like oh. Yeah, I shot that one. I shot that one. Payless, he's kind. He's he's just gonna go. Yeah, I had to shoot that one. You know, and like, and then Justin, well, well, when he fucking comes up your ass and goes, yeah, David, you're you're pretty far behind me, you know. You know, that'll be okay. Uh, but I want to kill every deer on the ranch, and that's one of my problems. Yeah, I would too if I owned it. All right, so what'd you taste? Uh, I still come back to what I had, some cinnamon tofu type thing, had some, um, uh, there's a, a name for it, it's like um, chestnut or something like that, you know, so something, you know, in that vicinity okay. you know um, I get a specific thing on the finish I'm wondering if you're getting it well I have to be perfectly honest so I'm so old school you know it's like I don't have a lot of grace for much more than what I do yeah. you know what I mean it's like no it's and even me I mean it's taken me a long time of drinking a lot of different bourbons to go okay I taste this and then you go back to it and you go, what? You know what? I don't think it really was that after tasting some other bourbon. I'm, for better or for worse, I'm, I like Hershey, dark Hershey's. I like whiskey. I like killing deer. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty simple, you know. It, well, that, so I drank it. I want to go in here and get a drink. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's just me. I want to. I want to get, so I had some, now I want to go get. Comfort zone. Yeah, that, uh, that's exactly, you know, it's like. Okay, so what do you taste on the end? Like coffee. coffee. What? It finishes in my mouth like coffee does. No, no, well, it could be a. Like the flavor or the bitterness? Like cocoa flavor. flavor or something. Well, I was just going to say that would be a very mild coffee yeah know, i would prefer i mean have, i don't drink a lot of coffee but yeah like, well i want to i want to have strong now i had in-laws that mother they drank coffee and the spoon would disappear yeah. i mean you know it's like you know, i have no interest in that uh you know i don't know it, it would eat the it would eat the spoon. Oh, iron in your diet never heard nobody Jim. that's stainless steel iron. yeah i mean <laughs> It's like, it's now, and I have a sister-in-law, I have a sister-in-law, if there's dark in that coffin, I mean, you know, like a hint of dark is too strong. It's like, so you're drinking hot water, right? Yeah, I was like, well, what are you drinking? Hot tea. Huh. No, it's, the tea, tea would be too strong, but everybody's entitled to yeah. their deal, but Lord have mercy. Okay, I can't stay anymore. I gotta go get a drink. Okay. We got, because we still got some the day. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Right, you, you got 15 minutes. Tops. Oh, I got 15 minutes. With McNair on McNair's day. So, so what's the plan for in the morning since y'all want to go home? Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. We need to figure that out. So, we got four so, people going out. Meat market is apparently 7 and 11, right? We have four people going out. Yeah. If
If you get over here at 5.30, we're going to... I will drink coffee. There we go, see? So there'll, be four, there'll be four of us going out, and I'll, I'll put We're all going to 11. <laughs> Got one in the rifle, we got a rifle. I'll put y'all in the boat. Hey, would you quiet down? Yes. I mean, you know, I can't get it word in, George. You know, like, I'm, here we are. It's like every time I start telling Josh, you're like, yuck, 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 yuck. Thank right. you, Jim. Uh, that was, I just had to give, that was my Josh treat. Thank you, what? Sit your ass down there. You need a drink? No. Huh? I'm good. Huh? leave on gym day, but I don't give a shit what he says. Okay, listen. It, wait a minute. It's got too much cinnamon or too much sweet. Or a, or, or a cinnamon, you know? You want to know what I think it is? I don't think it's either of those. I think the heat from the ethanol is too hot for you. You're just not used to it because you well, that's way over my head, you know. Yeah. I'm just the, uh, this. Just this is a hundred proof, right? You're used to Woodford being your good stuff at ninety proof, mm -hmm. yet you still mix it. So it's just there. There's the heat there that you're just not used to, and so that's I won't usually disagree with you. I'm pretty pretty simple guy. I mean, it's A or B. I'm gonna have that before I'm gonna have that. Yeah. Okay. A or B. There, day, baby. Coming to an end. Coming to an end. The title of this podcast is going to be McNair Day. <laughs> Episode 2 of McNair Day. I think we're skittish at 7, man. I mean, how long did it take for me to feel comfortable with pulling string back? 30 minutes, probably. Yeah. That's and they nice. all ran off, and we had to wait 20 more minutes for yeah. the dough to come in. This dough came in 20 minutes, 30 minutes before I the feeder. I kind of wanted to sit at 12, so I could just... Yeah, I, <laughs> I already called dibs. But it's the day after my marriage. <laughs> you want me okay, to now you're like a nine? woman on her birthday. Yeah. It's the whole fucking week. <laughs> it's the whole week. Okay? You get one day for your birthday. I don't want it to end for you, brother. I, I came up with a perfect plan. Okay? Which, yeah. if, you, if you got yourself and seven partners, and you all each came over with like $50,000 a year, you could own the place. You know what I mean? And then it could be McNair, Justin, Phelous, Jason. Fifty thousand dollars a year? I don't understand. With AW. I, I, I missed it all. You're going to explain. That's it what me. it takes to run the ranch. Oh. Eight guys at fifty grand gotcha. a year. Y'all could go ahead and you know get the ranch. Fadeless right. is actually thinking about stepping up for two, two chairs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> two, two chairs. He wants the master suite. Well, he, well, <laughs> hey, he wants the big ass shower. Yeah, well, and I, the two dual toilets. The dual there toilets. you go, baby. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I know y'all don't have them, but yeah, I don't ever have to hear about the toilet sick being up. Man, I, so it, Trisha, two Trisha, shitters. Trisha, I will never get over that. I'm telling you. So Trisha, when I was doing this, she goes, "I don't want that." You know, it's like, so I did it, and and, <laughs> and, and she she's like, it's, "It's awesome." So I got I got with Dorcas, right? So anyway, I'm sorry. That was just too funny. I don't want that. So I did it. Fuck well, you know, I, it has to be executive decisions are made, right? So, uh, and Dorcas, when, you know, when we first started, she's like, I will not ever shit, you know, she didn't use those words, you know, I'm not taking a dump, and you know, it's like, I'll be down the hall, it's like, yeah, yeah okay. But, uh, I haven't been in there in a while, isn't there a wall between them? It depends on which place you're at, I got it here, I got it there, I got it, okay. you know. Well, I've only here. been here, so, is there a wall in between the two toilets? This one, I'm on that side. She's on that side because the shower's in between. Okay. On that one, it's, it's like I'm on this end and okay. she's on, on that end, you know. I just wondering if they're next to each other so y'all can hold hands. No, no. <laughs> <laughs>
You get over there? Do I need to come in and get you? Yeah, we're a little, we're a little further apart than that, but... The closest I come to that is just not having a door in the toilet room because I couldn't afford the square Well, I don't. I, I build my shower that I do, you know, the smallest one I ever did, but... Well, like 8 by 10 or what? No, 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 it was it was smaller. It was smaller. But I remember the first day being in it. First day being in it, you know, I probably had like about 8,000 in it. And it was like, yeah, it's worth it, you know. You all right, brother? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you seem to be fading. I'm just checking on you. No, I know. I, I wasn't sure what you were going to name this. My, mine is called Way Too Much, you know. I didn't, didn't know what yours no, it's was. It's called too, too Much Bourbon. <laughs> I used to think I was gonna go ahead and get back in shape once upon a time. I think I'm, I think I'm actually almost done with this. Like, fuck y'all, <laughs> you know. <laughs> How old are you, Jim? Forty-four. Okay. I'm gonna go sixty-seven. Forty-four. You're, you're, you're just younger than my dad by I think a year or two. So you're gonna be sixty. Oh, that birth certificate is a liar, but it says I'm 64. 64. Have yeah, you ever met I'd anyone? I'd have, gi- I'd have given up yeah, my trying to 67. feel good about myself physically a long time ago, before 64, so. You know, and I can't do what I once could do, and I hate that, but um, I'm not going to give up. You know, I'm I'm just not gonna give up. I'm gonna I'm gonna fight to the fucking bitter end. My dad told me one time. He said I've never met anyone that fights age like you do, son. And I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I don't care because I'm I'm going to die. Yeah. But I am not going to die easily. Waiting to die. You know, I mean, I mean, it's like I'm just yeah. not doing it. You know. I hope you guys can come here for, and I, I hope I, statistically it won't happen, but it's like, I hope I can do this for 20 more years, because, you know, that means I'm still kicking ass, you know, and that's what I want to do. Be like Tom Brady of the deer world. That's a good analogy. I don't really like Tom Brady, but I mean, he's doing No, but I, I like the analogy. Yeah. Well, I didn't care for him, but I have to give him the man respect. Have to give him respect. I can cheers to that. They they were in a in a conference that basically they didn't have to do jack shit. I mean, you got to beat the Miami, you got to beat the Jets, you got to. It was like you're automatically in the freaking shit, you know. Are so, you breathing? Yeah, you want to go yeah. play off, sir? You know, so <laughs> I, I don't support all now that. Now you got to play you know? Atlanta and the Saints. I am happy for Tom though. I'm, I'm actually on his side now because he's enjoying life and and. You know, he's a good man. Yeah. He's always been humble. You got to give him that. He's been humble, and um, a person being humble reminds me of you, Mike. A person being humble um, goes a long way. I mean, that's just you got to give respect to somebody that's just not false, but a humble person. I mean, how can you? How can you not respect that, you know? Yeah. For real. Give me my glasses. I'm going to bed. Yep. It's time. Well. No. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Thanks Jim. Every day. Cheers. Congratulations. Good job. I mean, what a... Dilly dilly. What a, what a, what a nice... Nice job. What a nice, awesome I time. Said, uh, <laughs>